After reaching my full power and unlocking all fragment tiers, I can't wait to see what crazy combinations can be used against bosses. But there's one thing holding me back at the moment. I've got good magic and range, but my melee is terrible. To train up my melee stats, there's one absolutely essential item that I have to get. The Infernal Cape. If you can't do 10k for a suite, then I don't want to hear no chat about numbers. You and my youngers. All blacks out like grungers. Tens and twenties and hundreds. The power of seven. I can't wait to use all these fragment slots to their maximum potential. Currently, I'm chilling with personal banker that banks all my fish, and I'm getting triple resources with greedy gatherer. And on top of that, half the time, chef's catch kicks in and cooks my fish going to the bank. And wow. You know what? I'm actually kind of sad about this. 99 fishing and cooking, 250 points for both. I found something amazing to AFK, but it was over so quickly. Right, what's the food situation looking like? Oh, do you think we've got enough? I found a new thing for me to AFK. Yeah, uh, it's too fast. This game just doesn't want me to chill. 99 woodcutting, 125 points. Even though my axe was fire making it as well, I did manage to bank 3k mahogany logs. And I'm going to use those mahogany logs to make some home improvements. It's about time. I am a plank saver. What does this relic do? Uh... Saves planks. Oh yeah, if you're trying to get a Ranar seed off a master farmer, you need 71 farming pretty much. I need to start the herb law process, so let's get to it. The goal is to be able to make sourdome and brews through herb runs and ranging potions at the very least. One very big home improvement, a fairy ring in my house. And I am upgrading to the medium jewelry box. Look at all these teleports. The game just got so much smaller, I can get about really quick. It's about time I actually did something which helped with my inferno goal. And that is mining. Yeah, sounds thrilling. Well, it actually is pretty thrilling because you get three times resources and those resources aren't iron ores. They're steel bars. What the fuck? And they're supposed to go to my bank. The goal is to make Addy bolts for Ruby bolts to shoot out of my crossbow for the Inferno. This is so broken. There's a chance that the rock doesn't despawn and I don't have to click it again. Look at me. I'm just AFKing on an iron ore. Just spawning steel bars into my bank right now. This is so chill. Okay, it finally ran out. But still, that's like really, really good. Well, I stayed way past the level I needed for Addy Rocks. We got 72, it was just too fun. I still need a few more smithing levels, but that's no worry because I've got plenty of steel bars to instantly turn into dart tips. 17,000 dart tips. Do you reckon that'll be enough for fletching? Please say my strawberries have grown on the farming grind. That is what we like to see. You see, this is what I like about leagues. I've got some random combination of fragments on right now and I'm getting noted produce and some's going to my bank. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. This shit's OP. I can plus eight boost and do hard contracts now as well. It's so worth it for the herb seed. While I'm here, I may as well buy a seed box for points. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I should have bought a herb sack. What am I doing? Which one of you degenerates is buying rune arrows for 2k each? Nah, we've got rune arrows at home. Entering the upper tier of the farming guild and that is an elite task 125 points. I finally finished making all those dart tips into darts and I've ended up with a huge fletching level that I can get some easy points out of an MSB from. And finally, we can smith some adamant bolts. So many at once. And here are bolts for the inferno, diamond bolts E and ruby bolts E. Can you believe I had to do a quest after unlocking all of the quests in the game with renown, dwarven cannon. And cannonballs are gonna be fairly fast to acquire this league because I can instantly smith them all 100 from an invent of steel. I heard of a new best way to get slayer points and that's up here in multi on spider hill. That's why I made the cannonballs. We get points for it as well. We're about to go on a spider massacre. As soon as my slayer task is over, I can NPC contact and get another one straight away from Crystallia. 1k points, that should be more than enough. I'm getting a rune pouch for the Inferno and spare change for any task skips and things like that. One rune pouch acquired 750 points. It's so expensive. It's the only way to get it in this game mode though. Oh, I've been such an idiot with my herb lore. I've been doing herb runs without fucking... Oh my god, without Greedy Gatherer on, I could have been getting three times more herbs. But now the Sarah and brew making is just not going well at all. While I wait for my garden to grow, I figure I would come and have some fun over at Vorkath. Now this obviously needs to be unlocked. Everything needs to be unlocked. 50 points, that is a bargain. I figure I'd stroll in easy, come get my assembler. Look at my gear, pretty standard, right? Well, we're taking the anti-dragon shield off and I'm draining all my prayer. That's what this league's about. I'm excited to try absolute unit, used to its full potential. It reflects all the damage back to Vorkath. If this guy fire breathes me, 
that's on him. With absolute unit and double tap, hopefully I get some very quick kills. And, oh my far, no! It's not reflecting damage back. Oh, the plant's ruined. Can I get a refund on my Renown, please? What? Okay, so basically Vorkath can't be hit by recoil damage. This counts for Vengeance, recalls it in the main game, and I guess it's just the same code and it makes him immune. So that kind of sucks. Got the kill anyway, and we get 50 points and some money. Well, I'll keep going for a bit. We're back to trusty old Knife's Edge. Hit when you're low, double tap, double hit. Also, I get 100% increase in accuracy from the Unholy Ranger Fragment. It's so good at this stage of the game when my gear is bad and monster defense is high. Yes, I thought that was pretty quick. Under two minutes and we get 50 points for that. There's points for tasks all the way down to like 45 seconds. Bro, look at this shit. Knife's Edge got me living right on the edge. Tiki up. And Tiki. <laughs> Every single percentage matters. Dragon Bolts, no way. I went AFK for five seconds and it's screaming at me. Exciting times, a combat fragment. You actually get better ones from bosses. I didn't understand that mechanic until today. And I've got a new one, Larger Recharger. This makes your special attack restore faster. At level three, it's three times as quickly. Now I was completely oblivious to this at the time, but I actually got one of these bossing fragments from my tier seven completion. I got Armadillion Decree. When wearing four Armadillion items, enchanted bolt effects have up to a 100% increased chance to activate. Now I'm using Ruby Bolts for the Inferno and that sounds like a pretty good effect to be using. The only problem is, I need some armadillo items. Here we are, God Wars Dungeon on the Shatter Relics League. I'm here to try out Absolute Unit. It let me down at Vorkath and I'm honestly disappointed. Uh, so I've left there and I've come here because I think it's gonna pop up. Also, I only have to get KC once and then it stays. And I can just re-enter the room whenever I want, which is pretty overpowered. This will probably be the stupidest armor trip you've ever seen in your life. And that's all because of absolute units. I reflect back 100% of the damage I take. Here we go. Well, I've got to unlock it, haven't I? Oh my God. I always forget about the unlocks until I get here. And my precious Sage is renowned. I should be careful not to burn through this, but I just know I'm going to burn through this shit so fast. Kriara unlocked. Everything I've ever learned about this boss is don't take your prayer off because you'll get absolutely obliterated. But I guess that's kind of the plan right here with these relics. Got a nice bolt in there from the increase in accuracy and oh, I'm starting to get mashed. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Spam the food up boys. Oh my days. But look at that. Kree's also getting fucked as well because I am. We're both, we're going down together. I just need to not die. Oh my days. Eat the food and it's dead. Look. That was pretty quick, not gonna lie, having not great gear and not good supplies. One Kriara kill done, 50 points. Back once again. This is so nice because Kriara bonds are expendable. I'm using nothing right now. Oh my God, hello. Um, um. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, maybe I should just eat as soon as I lose some health and I think I'll be okay. One of the main problems with this method is I'm spending so much time running back to the boss room. Literally half the time in this method is running to the kill. If only there was something to speed all that up. I've had an epiphany. What if there's a relic combination with last recall and absolute unit? That would be the dream. And that's it. After wrestling with this interface, I've managed to get absolute unit full four way effect and last recall going. I feel like I'm actually getting somewhere now. Let's fucking go smoke some Kriara. And this is where I have to say I'm sorry. It's that old chestnut. My recording software was paused. Bro! <laughs> I just got Armadillo chest plate. 125 lead points for that piece. And it is the best in slot range in the game. And I've got it. Like, I always get lucky at armor, and I was so gassed. So just to show the method in full, I bank for my Karam ones, tap the last recall, and look how strong this is. Straight back to the door of Kriara, into the boss room, and then I'm pretty much a punching bag for about a minute, and then I get the kill, rinse, and repeat. Hello, welcome to England. It's much more than bangers and mash. We got geezers out on the lash. <gasps> no! Fucking way. Oh my god. <laughs> Get me out. Get me out of here. Look at that. Armour top and bottom. I am so lucky. How? Why am I lucky on every single account at Armadale? I've never got unlucky here. It's just insane. <laughs> top and bottom. It looks so good together. 
best in slot range in the entire game. Fuck it, let's go back for the helm. Should be like another five kills or something with my boosted look. God Sword Shard 1, working towards a blade. As soon as I get one of those on a God Sword, I'm going to be very happy. Ooh, another combat fragment. That could be a good one. It was off Kriara, the boss. So let's go and open that up, see what it is. There are some very, very strong ones out there. And it is Saradam in defense. Cool. What is it? When wearing four Saradam items, if you've taken damage from an NPC or player in the last 3.6 seconds, your max hit is increased by 10. And it's got set effects of absolute units and nice edge. Damn, that sounds really good, especially because of the set effects. Like a lot of these relics, the set effects are just terrible. For my Armadillion decree, I need four pieces of Armadillion when I'm doing the Inferno. And I've got the chest plate, the legs. I can probably use a book of law, but yeah. Where do I go? Do I get the armadillo helm? Do I wear a pendant? Or do I get an ACB? Let's try to get an ACB. I was loving how much renown I had the other day. Now look at it disappearing fast through my fingers. I will eventually do next, so I don't mind unlocking the God Wars ones. You know the drill, last recall straight up to the door. And we can go into the boss room. Is this gonna be easier, harder? I actually don't know what to expect. Obviously got the absolute unit on again, pair with the last recall and it's looking pretty damn good right now. It's gonna be a slow drain or is it? I feel like it might be faster than armor actually because she just hits so consistently. Yeah, look at this. That was very nice. I think it was faster than Kree. So I'll be staying here. 50 points for completing Ziliana. Yes. That's another reason why I'm here. The Herbruns have gone to absolute shit. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm not going to be getting bruised unless it's from here. I get three per drop. I will definitely take a Star Sword. That's an upgrade from D Simi, my current best melee weapon. 125 points as well. Not too shabby. Fuck the Dragon Defender. Let me just say that too. No way. Oh, what? I am so lucky. 125 points at Armacebo. Holy shit. That's the dream right there. These. Like, could I have asked for a better three items for my Armadillo Relic? Sebo, chestplate chains again. This is day five, by the way. It's day five and we're looking like this. The fourth Armadillo item I'm going to go for is the Book of Law. If I'm using Absolute Unit in the Inferno, probably won't need too much defense. Not much to worry about. But now, all I've got to do is to level it to level three. Yeah, I need to go get some XP because you don't get dupes in this because it is so rare. Because I've got the Armadillo Crossbow, I can make my Dragon Bolts from Vorkath and I can actually use them in the Inferno, which speeds it up all so much. Maybe I'll even try and get like the sub 75 minute task in this route. And enchant those Ruby Dragon Bolts E. Down bad, four Saradome Brews. And I'm not gonna lie guys, it's not looking good on that front. Plus, it's getting pretty late in the day. So I think I'm gonna leave Inferno for tomorrow. Like look at this lag as well. Like there's just so many people online. It's literally Sunday evening right now. For, like the worst time to do this. I've had a great day. Look at my gear. What an absolute unit. My new favorite relic. See you tomorrow in the depths of the Inferno. <laughs> This is number one, this is number one, this is number one, this is number one champion sound.